I made this template by sending the outer diameter around a pin through the middle and then I drilled out the middle hole using a Forstner bit. And this should fit snugly into that piece of orange PVC pipe. But well it seems I can't get it in with only one hand. Now I can use the template to create the same shape out of some thick acrylic glass. Using the router side of the table saw the acrylic can be trimmed flush. After that I chamfered the edges which will help with the glue up later. The double sided tape left some nasty goo on the glass but some WD-40 took care of that. and I tried to make another template. I messed up so many times that I had to use a different piece of board in the end. But at least it fits now. The actual part was then made out of birch plywood. And I'm making two more discs that will be the baffle. The smaller one is glued into the outlet pipe. And then the pipe is notched.
this will be the inlet pipe support. I will use the inner radius to cut the pipe flush with the inside of the cyclone body and then the outer radius to make the inlet pipe support flush with the outer circumference of the cyclone. I made this template which makes my Panther router cut a hole with 50 mm in diameter. I assembled the cyclone using epoxy and construction adhesive. The notched out part of the outlet pipe is oriented away from the inlet so that nothing can be sucked in right after entering the cyclone. The empty bucket weighs 1884 grams. And I'm using 199 grams of dust that has not gone through any kind of filter yet. Partly table sawdust and partly dust I swept off the floor. After sucking it through, the bucket weighs 2083 grams, which would mean that the cyclone is 100% efficient, which it obviously isn't. But the dust that it missed is so little that the scale can't measure it. I really should have used more dust to make the test more accurate, but I didn't have more unfiltered dust around. So at least this proves that the concept works really really well. And it has at least 99.5% efficiency. Thanks for watching.